So this is Matt Armstrong, and this is me standing next to him trying to get a thumbnail for this video. I bet you have to do that too. Oh, I was videoing. Oh, no way. <laughs> Yeah, so that went really well. Anyway, if you don't know who Matt is, he's a famous YouTuber closing in on 1 million subscribers. Matt spends his time rebuilding crash damaged cars and sharing his builds on YouTube. So if you've not yet discovered him and you like cars, you might want to check him out. Anyway, I've known Matt for a very long time, like literally ages, and I remember the kind of meals we used to eat. And it wasn't exactly an athlete's diet. But the other day, he posted this on his Instagram. Well, Brad, and for those that don't know, Brad's a personal trainer. I have just settled in. Yeah, I'm not going to let Matt reveal his full day of eating just yet because that would kill the video. Anyway. And I was wondering, has his diet actually changed? Well, in this video, you're going to find out exactly what Matt eats in a day as I'm going to put myself through Matt's diet. Eat, so wait, it. when you have, I know your breakfast. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you have a coffee, you don't have breakfast. <laughs> yeah. You're so the first thing we've got to have is a coffee, which is ideal because I have coffee every morning. So yeah, Matt doesn't have any breakfast, and I usually do, and I've been up since half five, so as you can imagine, I'm pretty hungry, so this is like a major inconvenience. Two hours later. For lunch, I'll either have a tuna and tomato toaster from the calf. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to go to the calf. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, so tuna, you can make your own, yeah, okay. tuna, to, make sure there's loads of mayo in it though. Right, okay, there's a mayo, yeah. yeah. So it's now lunchtime, and M has kindly made me the first meal, which is a tuna mayo toasty. Matt, what are you saying? Is that up to scratch? Let's give it a taste then. Yeah, this ain't bad at all. I never really have tuna to be fair, so this is quite a nice change. To be fair, that was a very good meal. So it's almost time for the next meal, but first we've got some dog walking to do. What's his name again? Picky. Nicky. Pick. Picky. Here's Picker. Hey, what are you saying? Picker, are you more popular than Kevin? Yes, come on, big boy. So just currently out doing some steps with M's neighbour's dog. So I literally feel like Matt and Kevin on his walks. And then between like lunch and dinner, I'll have one of these. So, and oh, okay. then inside one of them, there is 500 calories, as I've said. 500 calories? Yeah, drink food. Mad. But if you look at this, this is actually dense in micronutrients, to be fair. There's but loads of stuff in there. And it contains naturally occurring sugars, which is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's time for the next meal, and that is a Y Food replacement drink. And if you want to know more about these drinks, trust me, Matt is your man. There's actually uh, 26 vitamins and minerals in this. It's high in fiber. High in protein, it's lactose free, it's gluten free, and there's no added sugar. And on top of that, they do vegan options. And on top of that, <laughs> come on, these bottles are recyclable as well. Oh. We're saving the planet. So, yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. So, I've gone for the salted caramel flavor. And like I said, it's got 500 calories in and plenty of vitamins and minerals. I can't believe I'm going to consume a drink that's got 500 calories in. And a few months ago when I was dieting, there's no way I'd consume any kind of drink that's got over like 10 calories. Let's give it a taste then. It definitely tastes of like caramel and it definitely tastes thick. Like, you know, thick with loads of C's. Yeah, that kind of thing. To be fair, if you're in a gaining phase, a bulking phase, a lean bulking phase, whatever you want to call it, liquid calories when you're struggling to get calories in is never a bad shout. Bosh, all done. So in terms of taste, if you want a little review, it's actually not bad at all. Taste is a solid eight out of 10. Mate, I am absolutely starving. And look at the time, it's only half past three. And I've only got one more meal left for the day, but within saying that, I am actually looking forward to this last meal. At this point of the day, I had about three and a half hours till the next meal, so I just did a little bit of editing. Okay, I am getting pretty hungry now because I've had about 1,100 calories so far. The time is now half past six. Today feels like I'm doing what I call calorie banking, where you won't have much food in the day, and then you've got this one big meal plus and later on where you're just gonna go absolutely ham. Because Matt told me his last meal and then what is your meal like after this? After this, normally I'm at the unit here so I would get um, whatever's available on Just Eat, which sometimes, Just eat. yeah, so. Probably, Tell man is on the YouTube money, <laughs> Just Eat every night. <laughs> uh, there's a Turkish, which deliver here. Not yeah. many people deliver it. Turkish, so we'll either have a Turkish and from there we'll get like, uh, like chicken and rice in there that's like 
and yeah. a bit of we call it shit yourself sauce, but it's like chili shit sauce. Shit yourself yeah. sauce. <laughs> you always shit yourself after it. Oh. <laughs> you had a Chinese the night as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, Chinese. Yeah, that's a treat. If it's a Chinese, you've got an athlete diet. To be fair, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this diet. <laughs> To be fair, you cannot be a night that consists of a takeaway and watching your football team. And if you're wondering what takeaway I'm having, mate, come on, it has to be a Chinese. Let's go. So I picked the Chinese up and then drove over to my dad's house to watch the football as well. And that was disappointing to say the least. We lost against Fulham, like I'm less City fan if you didn't know. And uh, yeah, dug into this meal, which was really nice, but the caloric intake on this was pretty pretty mega i'm estimating somewhere between like what 1500 2000 calories it was a big old plate of food so that is what matt eats in a day and my thoughts on it are that i was very hungry throughout the whole day like borderline starving and then it got to the takeaway and that was just like a really nice treat so obviously matt's a car youtuber and not a fitness youtuber so hitting macros is probably not at the top of his agenda anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video i've actually got a couple more videos planned with matt that we're going to get uploaded very soon so stay tuned for that remember to drop this video a like in the meantime and remember to smash that subscribe button below so that you don't miss the future content but anyway, I'm out. See you later.